Happy has just released Arc 8 Chapter 6 and this video will be a summary of the chapter. His shoulder and thighs were bleeding. His ragged breath is full of heat. His bleary complexion is evident that his life is ticking away. However, healing magic can avert any issues. So why? Subaru asks. Subaru confronted his enemy amongst the blown up flour mill. Subaru didn't want to call Todd an enemy. Ever since Subaru met Todd, he was a pain in the arse. He etched fear in Subaru's heart and killed him several times. Each time Subaru returned by death and continued, pretending that the attacks did not happen. The initial incident of the Shudrakian forest burning, the attack in Guaral, and the incident in the Gladiator Island, all of these incidents were nullified by Return by Death. However, due to the incident in the capital now, Subaru was forced to join with Todd to defeat the current enemies. And if not for Todd, it may have taken Subaru many retries to succeed. He was one step from escaping and separating himself from Todd forever, yet this happened. Subaru asks why, and Todd says to not play dumb, considering Subaru was on guard and prevented his attack. Todd's axe was being held by invisible providence. Even though Subaru was in possession of it, he was still on edge. Subaru had been killed by the axe before, and invoked invisible providence just in case. And as you can see, he was right, since Todd attacked him. Todd says he fell for Subaru's ruse, calling Subaru a great actor, before asking Subaru if he meant to kill Todd in that explosion. Subaru denies it, stating he's serious about working with Todd. However, Todd tells Subaru not to lie to him. Todd analyzes Subaru, say, stating that he trusts people easily, whereas he doesn't trust people, meaning that both of them are the opposite. Subaru asks Todd how they will escape from the zombies if he is dead, and Todd says that Katya has escaped from the city and the number of the zombies will decrease as they increase their distance from the capital, stating that they will be better off without Subaru. Subaru says he didn't mean to hurt Todd or try and hurt Katya or anything. However, Todd says that Subaru is willing to choose whether or not to save Katya. Todd then runs at Subaru, stating that he won't ask for his forgiveness. Subaru was going to command Invisible Providence, but his right thigh burned. Just before Todd ran at him, he threw his knife at Subaru's thigh, stunning him with pain. Subaru's concentration lapsed, causing Todd to grab the axe which was thrown midair, because Subaru tried to throw the axe onto Todd, and because of the pain, he couldn't really throw it properly, and Todd caught the axe. As Todd lunges forward, he kicks Subaru in the chest, knocking Subaru to the floor. Todd then lunges onto Subaru, attempting to smash Subaru's head with his axe. However, Subaru uses both of his arms, and invisible providence to try and stop the attack. Todd tells Subaru to die, and Subaru says no. From the outlook, this battle was laughable, it was unprofessional and muddy. Warriors will usually use skills and tricks, yet these two were just fighting in the dirt. Todd then says that he doesn't understand, stating that Subaru is willing to die, but now he's resisting, calling him disgusting, essentially saying that Subaru dies, or has a willingness to die, depending on his preference. Subaru continues to resist, however blood pours from his ears. Using invisible providence for a long time is taking a toll on him, and Todd states his weird magic trick is at its limit. However, there was a sound, and both of them were startled. The reservoir, located far away, cracked and a torrent of water broke free. Todd was distracted momentarily, which allowed Subaru to twist around. This caused Todd to fall down, and Subaru rolled away. 
Subaru then stands up and looks at Todd. We see that Todd also stood up and blood dripped from his mouth. When that axe landed next to Subaru's head, as Subaru rolled away, Todd fell on his axe, impaling his shoulder. Todd was angry at himself for making a mistake. He pulled out the axe and the blood spurted out. However, the wound stopped bleeding after that. Subaru then asked if Todd was a demi-human by noticing his healing factor. And Todd said that Subaru was wrong before his face contorted and he said the words werewolf. In this world, there are abominations. The existence of half-elves are an example of abominations, as they are like Satella, the witch who destroyed half the world. There are two half-races in the Valakian Empire who are hated, the Earth Rats and the Werewolves. These races had committed sins, and the Earth Rats dug their way out of the country, and therefore escaped punishment. However, the Werewolves couldn't, and they were hunted down and eradicated. This was known as a Wolf Hunt, or a rat hunt. These werewolves would then state that they were wolfkin in order to blend in. There was of course one exception, Halabel, the strongest person in Kararagi who would publicly state they were a werewolf. By the way, with this being mentioned, didn't Ricardo say he was a werewolf as well? I can't remember, someone can fact check me in the comments, but this would actually make sense now. Subaru was struck with fear hearing this. Subaru had no idea of the history of the werewolves in this world. Todd states that Subaru doesn't look surprised that he's a werewolf. Subaru is confused about the situation, but decides that he's going to do one thing, and that is that he will not kill Todd. Hearing this, Todd starts laughing, before stating that Subaru is a monster, even worse than that last zombie that they saw. Subaru sees emotion in Todd's eye for the first time. Subaru finally understood what Todd was feeling. After all, he felt it himself. That was fear. Todd states how can he get along with someone who chooses when he wants to live or die based on their preferences. Essentially, what he is accusing Subaru of doing is choosing who lives and dies and essentially when he wants to live and die. Essentially considering because Subaru is currently resisting death, but previously he has shown no regards to his own safety, and Todd doesn't like that. Todd starts to transform into a werewolf, his body creaking, with his fur the same colour as his hair. He lunges at Subaru, but Subaru uses invisible providence to knock away Todd's axe with a rock. But before pulling out the knife in his thigh and placing it in Todd's jaw, which prevented Todd from closing his jaw onto Subaru's head. Despite that, Subaru says he will not kill Todd. If it pushed him to the edge, Subaru understands the man Todd is. After all, Todd trusted no one because people would hunt him down. There was then a voice that rang out that stated, that's enough, and Todd was blasted from the side by an ice hammer. Subaru looked over and called out to Amelia. Amelia then picked up Subaru, not realizing it was him, and then jumped up to a building. Just before, a torrent of water then proceeded to flood the area. Subaru knew Todd would have died if he was caught in that and looked around. Amelia is wondering what Subaru is looking for, and Amelia is saying to not worry before she attempts to leave. However, Subaru was just sitting there and was too slow to react to see that Todd was approaching from behind and attempted to bite him from behind in the head. However, Rem then jumped in at the last moment, holding Todd's axe and then threw it at Todd, knocking him off the roof of the building down into the water below. Subaru sat there and Amelia told Rem to heal the boy whilst she goes to find Subaru. But Rem states that the boy is Subaru, and Amelia says that Subaru looks cute. However, Subaru thinks to himself that it's been such a long time since he's seen them talking, and he then thinks that Todd is an arsehole before he falls unconscious. And with that, the chapter ends. So this is really interesting. I know this is going to be pretty divisive, because 
the whole idea was that Todd was a foil to Subaru, both of them being like normal humans. Um, but, I, oh my god, the foreshadowing by Tappy. I mean, the guy's literally called Todd Fang. Like, the fangs of a werewolf. How did we not catch this? Good eyesight, good smell. How did no one call this? I wonder if Howling Wolf Joey is going to like this. So this obviously seems to show that Halibel and Rick potentially Ricardo and Todd are all werewolves. So does that mean T Ricardo and Halibel can like de-transform? Kind of like uh, Garfield? Um, interesting. But by the way, I, f I do feel like Todd will become a good guy. Because the whole idea of why Todd doesn't trust people is because werewolves are hunted down, right? But if Todd sees that Amelia, a half-elf, is friends with Todd, why would he hide himself? He would trust that Subaru won't betray him. So he has no reason to attack Subaru. And yeah, what do you guys think of the chapter?